Okay, so welcome back to this course. So in our previous tutorial, we have created our header component and the footer component, and now this tutorial has handled our uh, the home component. So I'm going to put my home in the components folder. Okay, so new file, we call it the home.js. Okay, uh, that is not in layout. So I basically cut it from here and put in the components okay so now it is in the component folder so i put here my basic snippet so rcfe okay and now in here first of all what i do is i simply go back to my uh, notepad and now in here i need to bring in the home so this one h1 okay so what i do is first of all i need to I'll put that in the container, I think so. Then put these tools in the container. So I go back my VS Code. Let's give it a class. So class name would be the bootstrap class that is container and the container fluid. Okay. Now let's bring in our H1 here. So copy it from here. Put in here and also we have to bring in the section basically okay so it contains a lot of the media tasks so i simply copy this section uh where it is so copy and i paste it in here okay so we save it and let's move these products because i don't need all of these i have loop through so I only need one sample snippet. So let's move this one also. And okay, so if I simply save it, put here control H, have replaced all the class and with the class name. okay so this is single one okay and all right so let's simply save it and now if we go to my app.js and let's put in here uh, we can also bring in the home so that is import home from dot slash components slash home also we have to put in here the home so we save it and now if i go back to my code uh, here you will see that we get here our first product okay so that is definitely a static product but we're going to fetch our all products from the back end and then we will add on them in the uh, render them here okay so in simple words, our our home page is now ready. Okay. So what I do is I simply create one more component that is called product, and I will simply loop through all the products and render that product component. Okay. So I will do that when we we will uh, start getting our products from the backend. So right now it is fine uh, with the static data. Okay. So now we also done with our home component, and in my next video I want to basically implement the uh, a react router okay because i want to also manage this react router here because i have to manage the routes like home page login register all that so i will implement remember we have installed the react router in our first videos okay so i have to add the react router in my next video